Richard E. Grant has spoken of the stunned reaction he received when he wore gloves to greet Prince Charles at an event early on in the pandemic. The With Nail and I actor, 64, attended the Prince's Trust and TK Maxx and Homesense Awards at London Palladium on March 11, where he joined a host of stars, including Anton Deck and Michaela Cole, in meeting the Prince. At the event, he opted to wear black protective gloves after he spoke to a doctor at an NYC event weeks before, who told him to protect himself from the virus with protective wear such as face coverings and latex gloves. Speaking to Radio Times, Richard revealed that while meeting Prince Charles, who contracted the virus shortly after, a fellow guest queried, What the hell are you doing? in a nod to his vigilant early reaction to the virus. On COVID, Richard explained, I've been vigilant about it. I'm not a hypochondriac, by any means, I've just been careful. Another, New York Party, guest, who was in the medical profession, said, get face masks and gloves. So I got a whole box and when I came back to England wore them wherever I went. He went on to detail how his last public appearance involved the lineup to meet Prince Charles, where he put on his protective wear. He revealed, someone said, what the hell are you doing? But I didn't want to catch it. He was pictured on the red carpet holding his hands up to show the gloves while also greeting Michaela on stage with his elbows so as not to touch hands. The Prince of Wales, 72, tested positive for COVID-19 later in March and revealed he experienced relatively mild symptoms while battling the virus. In June last year, he opened up about his brush with the deadly infection saying, I was lucky in my case and got away with it quite lightly. But I've had it, and I can so understand what other people have gone through. He added, I feel particularly for those who have lost their loved ones and have been unable to be with them at the time. That to me is the most ghastly thing. Royal biographer Penny Juror said his battle with the virus meant he is able to understand people going through terrible times and show leadership. That he caught the virus is one of the best things that could have happened, she said. It echoes the Queen Mother and King George VI being able to stand shoulder to shoulder with the public during the Second World War after Buckingham Palace was bombed. She added that more people have seen and listened to Charles during lockdown, and that he has used his platform well throughout the pandemic. Aside from discussing his royal meet, earlier this month, Richard gave fans a behind-the-scenes look at his costume for the role of classic Loki in the Disney Plus series Loki. He was seen in two pictures during his costume fitting for the show, in a snap he shared via Instagram, and he joked that the outfit would have made his late father cackle. In the first image, Richard was seen wearing the bottom half of his costume which consisted of green spandex stockings, gold pants and matching boots, with a black tank top. While in the second he had tried on the full classic Loki costume, adding his green and gold spandex top, gold gape and hood. In the caption, Richard joked with fans, My late father asked me four decades ago do you really want to spend your life in tights and makeup? At 64, this get-up for at official Loki for at Disney Plus would have made him cackle. Richard's character is a Loki variant, an alternate version of Tom's character who managed to escape death at the hands of Thanos in Avengers, Infinity War and lived out his life on a distant planet. However, when he tried to escape his solitary existence to see his half-brother Thor he was stopped by the Time Variance Authority. TVA, and discarded in the void. The TVA protect the sacred timeline, which is everything that has, is and will happen in the universe, 
to stop multiverses appearing and starting a time war. In the void, he met other variants of himself including Kid Loki, Jack Veal, Boastful Loki, Daobia Opare, and Alligator Loki, and they banded together to survive against Halioth, a smoke monster that consumes all matter. When Tom's Loki is sent to the void, he joins the trio on classic Loki and fellow variant Sylvie, Sofia Di Martino, fight against Alioth. During the battle with Alioth, however, classic Loki gave his life so that Loki and Sylvie would be able to find the being who is truly behind the TVA. Loki streams exclusively on Disney Plus.